Have you heard of net neutrality? More importantly, do you know what it means for you? Let's be honest, it's not an easy topic to understand, but net neutrality regulations could make a big difference for what kind of internet service you can buy and what you pay for it. With so much bad information out there about net neutrality, here are three myths to watch out for. Myth one, we need government to keep the internet neutral. Net neutrality sounds like a nice, fair, neutral thing, right? Wrong. What people actually mean by net neutrality is Washington regulators telling internet service providers how to manage their business. Does that sound neutral to you? These backward, heavy-handed regulations would mean internet providers can no longer prioritize internet speeds for things like Netflix, Spotify, or FaceTiming with your in-laws. Okay, that last one was a bad example. Myth two, without net neutrality regulations, customers will get screwed by big evil internet providers like Comcast, Verizon, and AT&T. Look, internet service providers are not going to randomly slow down your internet service for the same reason that Shake Shack won't randomly spit in my food. One, I'm always respectful to restaurant workers. And two, they don't want to lose me as a customer. What net neutrality regulations will do is reduce our options and create lousy service for everyone. Look at history. A free internet that can respond to consumer choice, not government regulations, is why we have broadband, not dial-up internet today. Myth three. Without net neutrality regulations, internet providers would squash the little guys. This one is hilarious. Who are these little guys? Amazon, Hulu, Netflix? I think they'll be just fine. In fact, there's zero evidence of big broadband companies getting away with boxing out the little guys. I don't think it'll be a big deal. I think the principles of net neutrality are very well accepted. Broadband companies provided internet service for 20 years without regulations, and look where we are. I streamed the entire second season of Stranger Things last weekend. You can watch pandas at the National Zoo do nothing all day long. If we want faster internet, we should ease rules, not increase them. Let's make it easier for more internet service providers to enter the market and compete for your business. Look what happened to the mail system. More options mean better alternatives than the U.S. Postal Service. Amazon Prime, anyone? No matter what John Oliver tells you, there is nothing neutral about the government picking winners and losers. That's called government intervention. If we want real internet neutrality, we need less government, not more.